But what shall be the conclusion of this war against Ireland? The end, I assure me, will be very short, and much sooner than can be in so great trouble as it seemeth hopeful, although there should none of them fall by the sword, nor be slain by the soldier, yet thus being kept from manurance, and their cattle from running abroad by this hard restraint, they would quickly consume themselves and devour one another. The proof whereof I saw sufficiently ensampled in those late wars in Munster, for notwithstanding that the same was a most rich and plentiful country, full of corn and cattle that you would have thought they could have been able to stand long, yet ere one year and a half they were brought to such wretchedness as that any stony heart would have rued the same. Out of every corner of the wooden glens they came creeping forth upon their hands, for their legs could not bear them. They looked anatomies of death. They spake like ghosts, crying out of their graves. They did eat of the carrions, happy where they could find them, yea, and one another soon after. In so much as the very carcasses they spared not to scrape out of their graves. And if they found a pot of water cresses or shamrocks, there they flocked as to a feast for the time, yet not able long to continue there with all. That in a short space there were none almost left and a most populous and plentiful country suddenly left void of man or beast. Yet sure in all that war, there perished not many by the sword, but all by the extremity of famine, which they themselves had wrought. <laughs>